So um, I'm, I'm watching my TV uh, earlier, just, just a couple hours ago, uh, not even. And I'm, I'm hearing this news on Tesla uh, about a potential board revolt. And I said, I bet this is Charlie Gasparino's story. Because I was watching Fox. Of course it was a Charlie Gasparino story. He breaks more news than, than I run buffets. He's back with us now. <laughs> to find out what's going on with Tesla. They got a bit, bit of a palace revolt going on. Uh, they got some of that. They also have the SEC breathing down their throat. I mean, over what? Of what? What we reported earlier is that the SEC has ramped up their investigation. It is now an investigation. It's not just looking under the hood. It's official. It's formal. It's, Was it triggered by the tweet? Yes, it, it's okay. formal, and it's involving subpoenas to the, you know, to the company uh, from the San Francisco office. Um, here is the issue. The issue is, and this is where the SEC is between a rock and a hard place. Based on everything we know right now, Tesla is in the process of going private. No doubt about that. I know that. I've confirmed that today. They're in the process now. But based on everything we know, they really weren't in the process, official process, when he put out that tweet that said, you know, I'm doing this and funding is secure. Uh, based on everything we know, and even from his own tweets, and when you talk to people at Tesla, at the commission, they will tell you this. That statement he made, based on what he's put out since, is probably false. It's, they did not have some funding secured. The question and the, the dilemma that the SEC faces on this, and I don't think they're going to wrap this investigation up tomorrow, although they believe, from what I understand, they have a very extremely strong case here, is that, you know, Elon Musk, unlike a lot of CEOs, Elon Musk is existential to Tesla. If he goes, he's the brains behind it, right, the, 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 the motivating force. If you do something to hamper his, if, if you ban him from the securities business, these are all potential potentialities if you get, if you get dinged for, um, for you know, putting out a materially false statement. Get banned from the securities business, can't be an owner, uh, can't be a director, an executive at the company, uh, or something far worse. That's going to have a real impact well, on the company. what's materially false here? If it turns out that there was no funding from the Saudi sovereign? Do you have funding secured for a privatization? His own statements post that, remember he put out some blog right. posts, say that they're in the process. I, I felt like, based on my conversations with the Saudis, that they are inv that they're interested. And that is, I mean, that is not funding secured. But he's not a dumb man. You know, so, so the, the reason why I'm saying I, I, that is that what if you, there, some people who have this no unspoken thought thing, let's right. say the President of the United States, right? He tweets a lot and right. might regret it later. And I'm not here to disparage him, or, or, or certainly right. uh, Elon Musk. But you know, Elon Musk is saying, um, you know, stream of consciousness, tweet it out, I, it's, uh, it's different. confident that he could get the funding. It's inf confident. That's not funding he security. Say that. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's different than the president. The president theoretically could pardon himself on this Mueller thing. Uh, he's also the CEO of a company, a publicly traded company. There are a lot of rules and regulations. The SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, was the, the bedrock of its creation back in the 1930s. Joe Kennedy was its first commissioner or chairman. Was The bedrock was disclosure, making sure that proper disclosure, accurate disclosure, uh, that you know CEOs can't lie or mislead investors. Um, it looks like what he said was wrong. Now, whether he lied or was intentionally to mislead, I but can't you, tell you. Can you prove that, though? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Did he have funding secured? <laughs> okay, so I, I know the reason why I, I'm not a lawyer, and I just want to know the, the fine-tuned points here. If, if Charlie, they, you know, it turns out, no, you did not have funding, and, and, and that was idiotic of you to even... Yep. You know, imply that, then then you are in a big amount of trouble. Yeah, and the SEC is now weighing this, that if they take him out, does that prevent them from going private? I mean, that could be good for investors going private, right? He's talking about this, you know, doing it at $420 a share. That is good for investors, and they're scared to death about blowing up a company that will cost jobs. Well, I mean, what happened that day he tweeted? Did the stock go up? I mean, oh, yeah. It did. Okay. Yeah. Now it's come back down. It's come back down because all of all this stuff. For all this, including his subsequent comments on his blog, which says basically says the funding's not secured. We, he feels confident it, it would be if it happened. But he also separately got into the trouble not clearing this or talking about it with the board, right? There's, there's been reports on that. Uh, I've, not, I've not independently confirmed How big